In this video, we are going to discuss our recommended steps to effectively clean up your office's billing. By using a series of specific reports and built-in tools in TrackNet, you will be able to capture any missed billings, clean up your AR report, and improve the health of your practice. Please note that it is recommended that these steps are performed in the order that they are presented in this video. The first step to cleaning up our billing is going to be our accounts receivable report, specifically the summary version. This report will show us all outstanding patient balances currently in our system. Specifically, we're going to be looking at the unapplied payments that may be affecting the overall outstanding listed on this report in an effort to pinpoint exactly what is still outstanding and determine a more accurate overall balance. Let's begin by locating our report. All billing reports in TrackNet 3.0 can be found under the Billing tab on the left-hand side of the screen. Clicking the Reports icon will open the list of all available reports. Our Accounts Receivable report is then under the Reports tab, as seen here. We will select the Accounts Receivable folder and double-click to open our two possible options, Summary or Detailed. For this video, we want to run the Summary version of this report. As previously mentioned, we are specifically looking for unapplied payments that are showing on these accounts. To show this information, we will need to set up a filter in the lower left-hand corner of the screen. Click on the Show Unapplied Payments option, then select True from the drop-down menu. This will allow unapplied payments to factor into our report. After selecting our desired report and setting the necessary filters, we will click Execute in the upper left-hand corner of this window to run the Accounts Receivable report. After a brief moment, this report will load in the center of the screen, as seen here. After running the report, we recommend printing the report using the Print button near where we executed the report. After printing the list, you are specifically looking for any items with an amount listed in the Unapplied Payments column. What this means is that this patient has an outstanding balance, but they also have payments that have not been applied. You will want to apply these payments to any outstanding charges for this patient by searching for that patient and then applying out the money on any date of service with an outstanding balance. Our Posting Patient Payments video will cover these steps in detail. To summarize, our end goal with running this report is to find and clean up any unapplied patient payments. As these payments affect our overall outstanding balance negatively, to get our most accurate total, we need to be sure that unapplied patient payments are always being applied properly. The next step to help clean up our billing is to run a report called Charges with a Negative Balance. This report will show, on a charge-by-charge charge level, any charge where an overpayment is located. In other words, any charge where the payments applied exceed the billed amount. As with our previous report, this report is located under the Billing Dashboard tab, then the Reports icon. However, this report is in a slightly different location and will be found under the Queries tab. Scroll through the list, as demonstrated here, to find our desired report. All reports under Queries are listed alphabetically. Once we find our report, click on the report from the list. This report has no specific filters that need to be set, nor does it have a simple or detailed version. We are simply running the query as is. After selecting the report, click Execute. This will generate a list of all charges that fit our criteria, that is, any charge where the payments exceed the billed amount. Upon executing the query and generating our list of overpayments, we have two different ways to save this information. We can either print the report as before with the print button in the upper left hand corner, or we can click export. Exporting the report will open a window prompting us to name the file and will then save this list of charges with a negative balance in an Excel spreadsheet. Use whichever option works best for your general workflow. The overall purpose of this report is to locate any overpayments on a charge-by-charge charge level and either post out any overpayment amount to other dates of service or create refunds for those patients. After generating the report, it is recommended to go to the Encounters screen under the Billing Dashboard and search by date range and patient name for the encounters where these overpayments are located.
Our next step includes running a report fairly similar to our charges with a negative balance report, only this time we are looking at the encounter level. This report will help us find anything else with an overpayment that may have been missed with our previously discussed report. In other words, rather than finding a list of charges with overpayments, we are finding entire dates of service that have an overpayment. As with the charges with a negative balance report, the encounters with a negative balances report is located under the billing dashboard, then reports, and then the queries tab. Scroll through the list of queries until you find the encounters with negative balances report and then click on the report. To generate this report, after clicking on the report name in the list, click execute in the upper left hand corner. This report, once again, does not have any specific filters or criteria that need to be set ahead of time and can simply be generated. Once you have created your report, you may either print the report or click export to generate an Excel spreadsheet containing all information generated by this report. Follow the steps previously detailed to save this file. The overall purpose of this report is to find and resolve any overpayments on an encounter level, serving as a sort of safety net to ensure no items are missed by our previous report. If you are following this guide in order, as recommended, you will likely have resolved many of these items with our previous report, charges with a negative balance, and may not find much when you run this report. So far in this video, we have pinpointed our unapplied patient payments that may be throwing off our AR report, we've located our charges that have overpayments, and we've learned how to locate encounters that have overpayments. Our next report is going to be a more general cleanup tool, allowing us to pinpoint instances where a patient's insurance setting on a specific claim was incorrect. The next report we are going to run is called the Insurance Payments by Outside Insurance Report. This report will show us any insurance payment where the payer was different from the patient's listed insurance. This report is located under the Billing Dashboard, then Reports, and finally the Legacy Reports tab. Scroll through the available list and then click on the report. Unlike queries, reports located under the Legacy Reports tab have several possible filtering options. This report in particular allows us to set a date range. Select your desired date range by clicking on the To and From drop-down menus, selecting the date, and then clicking Execute. You can then print this report by clicking the Print button in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. Should you need to, you can also adjust the size of this report by using the magnifying glass at the top of the report as demonstrated here. You may also jump through the pages of the report with the page options listed next to the magnifying options. They will be highlighted if there are any additional pages. The intended purpose of this report is to show any instance where the payer on a claim was different from the expected payer. In other words, the insurance payment was from an insurance that was not set as an insurance on the patient's chart. It is recommended from here to look into these situations. Is the patient's insurance information incorrect? Does the insurance need to be adjusted to be a claim office of a different main insurance as perhaps they are two different insurances with the same payer ID? These are just examples of the situations that you may find when researching the items on this list. Items on this report will require some digging to resolve and will vary based on each individual situation. The next step in our billing cleanup process will take us away from the reports window briefly and instead look at the claim screen. This screen is also located under the Billing Dashboard tab, but is instead the Claims icon. Once you are in the Claims screen, we are looking for a specific view, that is, the Patient Responsibility view. To access this screen, click on the Views drop-down menu in the upper left-hand corner of the Claims screen, and then choose Patient Responsibility from the drop-down menu. The patient responsibility list is perhaps named a bit misleading. What we are looking at in this list are any items that are not marked patient responsible, but which TrackNet believes should be marked patient responsible. There are a variety of reasons why an item might be on this list, which we will discuss shortly. First, however, to generate a list of claims, use the date drop-down menu to set a desired date range, and then click the refresh button. 
please note that we recommend starting with a relatively small date range, such as one or two months, rather than attempting to load a list of the past year, as this list is generally rather large and can cause severe slowness. Once you have generated your list, you can use the headers at the top of the list as filtering options. For example, clicking on Balance will sort from greatest to least or least to greatest balance. This is especially helpful as it will bring all zero balance items to the top of the list, which we will discuss the importance of shortly. If there is an item on this list and you would like to know more information about it, you can either double click on the claim or click on the claim once and then click modify at the top of the screen to open that invoice. This will be especially useful for determining the exact situation for why this claim is on the patient responsibility list. After sorting your list as needed, you will want to begin working these items. The first and easiest of these will be those that are marked as zero balance. These items are appearing in this list because the claim has been paid in full, but the encounter was never set to patient responsible. You will simply check off the items marked as zero balance, then click send at the top of the screen. While you are clicking send, these do not send anywhere. They simply mark the encounter as patient responsible and remove them from this list. Items that are appearing on this list but are not zero dollars might have several possible causes, however. For example, perhaps the secondary insurance has paid before the primary insurance. The claim is not patient responsible because the primary has not paid yet. Yet the system believes that it should be because a secondary payment has been received. Another possibility is that the encounter listed has no insurances set. Because the system sees that this claim is not going to any particular insurance, it believes that the claim should be patient responsible. You will need to investigate each item by opening that claim and doing some further research to determine how best to handle that particular claim, be it to post the primary payment, to set the claim's insurances, or to mark the claim as patient responsible. Our final step in the billing cleanup process is going to be one last report, the pending claims report. Once again, you can access all billing reports from the Billing Dashboard tab, then the Reports icon. This report will specifically be found under the Reports tab of the Reports screen. The purpose of the Pending Claims Report is to determine which insurance companies have the largest outstanding amount, allowing you to then determine which insurance and then which specific claims you should investigate to find out why these have not been paid yet. As with most other reports on the Reports tab, this claim has a summary view and a details view. We are going to be using both during this video, but we're going to start with the summary view. We will select the summary view and then set Submitted Charges in the filters on the lower left hand side of the screen to False. Setting this setting to False will show us any charge that was not submitted but was on the same invoice as a charge that was submitted giving us just some additional information worth looking into. After we have put in our filters as needed, we will click Execute in the upper left-hand corner of the Reports window to execute this report. With the summary view, we will see an overview of all insurances that have pending claims with the total balance pending listed as well. Our purpose on the summary view is simple, to determine which insurance company currently has the highest outstanding. We can print this view if needed or simply mark down the name of that insurance company. We are now going to drill down further and look at that particular insurance company only. Now that we have the name of our insurance company, we are going to switch to the details version of the pending claims report. From the list of reports, click on details under the pending claims folder, then under the filters in the lower left hand corner of the screen, click the field for insurance. This will open a list of all insurance companies. Check off the insurance in question from the list provided and then click Execute. Unlike the summary view, the details view for that particular insurance will show us all claims, their date of service, and the balances listed on the report. It will also show us how many days past due these particular claims are, the patient attached, and which code was charged. From here, you will want to print the report and then reach out to either your clearinghouse or the insurance company to begin tracking down this claim and determining why it has not been paid yet. This concludes our training on the basic and recommended steps for cleaning up your office's billing. 
Remember, these steps are suggestions and will primarily show you how to gather data to begin the cleanup process on any old billings. We hope this video guide proved useful in this endeavor, and as always, for more information and training material, please do not hesitate to visit our website at www.tracknetpm.com.